Commander Z at your service. In ScreenFlow you have a few shortcuts. One of them that's quite handy is the Control and T which will zoom into your timeline and make it go fully across the screen there. That's very useful. If you want to add a recording, maybe you just need to get a bit of sound in, a voiceover perhaps, you click on that button there and you can just tell it to record audio from your microphone. Or maybe you want just to snap something from the desktop or record a bit of video. You can do that very quickly and it will bring it directly into your document that you're currently working on. And you can also add media. So for instance if I want to uh, click on that there and bring something else in. Perhaps I want to bring in something that I've done already. That's I can find in movies. Maybe this one. Click on open. And there it is for me. Got my preview going there. Adding things to the timeline is very easy. Just uh, drag them and drop them. Put them in there. What I need to do with these though is just to move them out of the way. So I can just bring them across there. Take that then and put it down. But then I've got a gap there. How can I get rid of that? Well, if I double click on that bit there, I can tell it to close the gap. You've got your snapping to the markers and snapping to the playhead. So I can bring this across here and it will snap to that playhead for me so that so that both things are lined up again. I can select those two things there and bring both of those across. And that one at the bottom there, that is the video side of it that now has a transition. Here's something I've done in Keyboard Maestro. So isn't that nice and easy? Let's have a look at the transition inspector. We've got a library of uh, transitions there and we've got our duration set for 2.6 seconds and we can also go into properties and change the properties there if there are properties that you can change for that transition. Mod. Let's try mod properties. So yes, this time we've got some possibilities to change the angle, compression, radius to get something look a little different. And we've even got a preview there. Oh, very modern. I like it. Let's leave it in there. Lovely. Another thing that you can do with a uh, video clip as well is to bring up the show clip inspector. When you have the clip inspector you can change the speed of it so if we want it to uh, go faster or slower we move this across the here. So now that it's going faster you see the time section of it is shorter there in, this, in the timeline or if we want to we can make it take longer to play. So that's in slow speed or if we want to we can just take that and put uh, 100 in there bring it back to the original speed of the clip. Bear in mind that if you do the same with one of your audio clips then you are going to adjust, change the sound somewhat I think. Let's see what that sounds like now. So obviously if you're going to do something that is a video clip with sound actually embedded into the video clip the thing to do is to extract the audio from the video clip before you do that. And that is quite easy. Just go to your clip that you want to detach the audio from and tell it to detach audio. You'll also notice in there that you can add a freeze frame. Or if you like the clip just as it is, you can tell it to lock clip and it will not be able to be changed. Commander Z here and isn't it about time you press that like button for this video? And in this case we can also select our tracks in the timeline. So if we want to select all clips or all clips after the current clip. Maybe if you want to select all of the clips and bring them together to close a gap. Sometimes that can be handier to do than by uh, using that close gap thing that I just showed you earlier. Now we can add a freeze frame with this. Add a freeze frame. There we go. We've got a freeze frame now. Increase the length of the uh, freeze frame if you wish. So now we've got a freeze frame for 7 seconds. Obviously when you're going to be using a freeze frame is when you've uh, decided that you need to have a bit more time to say what you want to say about that particular thing, that particular portion of your screen. Let's put this into the timeline just down here and see what we can do with this. There's our video properties. If I have it selected you can see that we can do some things with it such as changing the scale, position and the rotation 
and we can even change the opacity of it so maybe I've got some sort of a special effect that we can get by putting one video over the top of another. Let's put that back to 100% and we'll change the size of this here. Hold down the shift key there if you want to keep it to the same ratio. Let's put a reflection on there, see what happens. Can't see much of a reflection there, but let's, we've got a bit more ha reflection happening there. We've got our shadow, and in this section here with the uh, shadow, we do have a few more uh, options. We can change the offset there, so we can bring it right out there, and we can change the blur size. Looks better if it's a little bit more blurred. And of course we can change the opacity too, if you want the blur to be less evident. Let's just have a look at saturation. Uh, we can change the saturation on there, so that's changing the, uh, the way the colours are coming up on that there. And we can also change the uh, brightness. So that's quite good. And also the contrast. So we've got some basic controls over the video within our clip. Commander says, says click on that yellow button in the middle of the screen there. Subscribe to the Max 20 videos.